Well, thank you very much, gents. Now, we know that fashion and film go hand in hand, so it's inevitable that fashion film festivals do take place globally every single year. And in Africa, one of the biggest, if not the biggest one, has to be the Boca International Fashion Film Festival, which happens to be taking place, guess what, today and tomorrow, this weekend. It's all happening here in the Mother City, and here to tell us more about it, the founder and probably the coolest MD you'll ever meet in your life, Mr. Adrian Lazarus. Too Welcome kind. back to the show, dude. Thank you. Thanks for having us again. Absolutely. Always yeah. a pleasure to do that. Now, uh, fashion <laughs> film has has always evolved and it's evolved quite drastically uh, in recent times would you do you think that we've seen the same amount of growth on the African continent though? we're seeing more of it you know we're seeing the emerging talent coming through mm. we are fostering uh, programs within our business that um, helps the youngsters to create fashion films and we're yeah. finding local brands are jumping on the wagon and they're understanding what fashion films are all about absolutely and they're seeing how it can help their brands um, not only with fashion as such but also all luxury brands yeah the lineup, as I understand, that you have this year covers everything from fashion to film, makeup, and even topics of sustainable uh, fashion. That's even so, do you find that the industry is kind of having an effect and branching out into very many different aspects of life right now, outside of just pure fashion? Well, yeah, of course. You know, it always starts with fashion. I think yeah. everything starts with fashion, and um, I think that uh, you know the guys from the Cape Town Fashion Council have come on board with us this year. Uh, the guys from uh, the uh, Ethical Fashion Institute, they, they're putting programs together that are fully booked throughout the day. Um, and uh, I think that if the subscription of people that have booked tickets with us this year, anything to go by, we are sold out. So all, all, the, all the seating's gone. Mm -hmm. And um, the audience out there, the people out there are really, really keen to see what we have. We've overbooked. It's, uh, it's, it's looking fantastic. It's, it's, it's a good problem to have, right? It's an amazing problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. This is the fourth year and it's just grown every single year. Absolutely. Strength strength. And not only have you, have you shown internationally, you've won internationally as well. Uh, what, are you, what are your thoughts on, on African fashion, the film that we are producing yeah. uh, with regards to fashion? Are we on par with the we European markets, are. the American markets? Oh yeah, there? absolutely. You know, I know, and I'm going to brag because we think our fashion film festival is the best in the world. We've been to a couple. And, uh, come on, you. come on, <laughs> come on! We, we really, really think that it's amazing. You know, the, the, the quality of service and the level of finish is just something else. But the movies that we're getting that are made locally now are competing internationally. Yeah. Uh, we have an amazing movie that's up for a couple of awards, uh, shot by uh, Peter Vestair Cohen for the Superbulous brand, and it is just world class. It is going to take awards all over the world. It's yeah. amazing. Absolutely indeed. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank have you. a good weekend, and you promise me that if I come around, it's going to be a great old time, right? Yeah. You promise. We'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, um, if you're going to be there, of course, you might want to be looking forward to or having a sneak peek as to what you can expect at this year's Boca International Fashion Film Festival. Take a look. We do have a sneak peek for you. Superbs have been out of action for 19 months. But then Didier got the letter, and everything changed. He took the first bus. Ever since Laetitia Lafayette had read in her horoscope that an handsome Leo was on the horizon, she had waited. The magazine was out of date, but no matter, she was ready.